Reigning course champion Suleiman Fadili is the winner of the 2022 Red Bull Street Style National Football Challenge held in Nairobi last night. Meanwhile, over 400 participants turned out for the Intercounty Fitness Challenge held in Eldoret to sensitize the public on the need to keep fit and promote peace and cohesion during the current electioneering period. The 36-year-old Suleiman Fadili, aged former National Ace Martin Kibera, by 0.5 points to be crowned the new Kenyan king. Tarisho yangu ilikuwa tu ni kufanya mazoezi all the time, asubui na jioni na fanya exercise, na siogopi ku, kujaa michanga kwa manguo ama watu kuniona, juu mimi nikuwa na, na jua na takamwili wangu uzoe kile kitu mi nataka. Street style football is the art of doing tricks with a football, performing impossible feats to dazzle the crowds. The trick involved juggling, controlling and balancing the ball impressively with almost a magical adhesion. As a result of the feat, Fadili walked away with 70,000 shillings cash prize and will represent Kenya in the continental virtual contest slated for July. Initially, um, uh, we were being mixed up with guys from uh, Europe, uh, Asia, and uh, South America. But now uh, we have a very good chance of going to the world um, platform where we're going to meet other really skilled, uh, full young people from Africa. And then the winner from that competition will go on to the world uh, stage. <laughs> Meanwhile, over 400 participants turned out for the Inter-County Fitness Challenge, which was held in Eldoret. The challenge, which is held monthly, is aimed at sensitizing the public on the need for keeping fit, and organizers used it to preach the need of promoted peace and cohesion during the election period. Here in Wasengishu, we, we keep peace. We, we believe that uh, this coming election, we have this challenge from different counties, people from different tribes. We have come here together, no matter which tribe you are. Kufanya working out ni mzuri kwa sababu una unaepuka madhara ya kimwili. Lasema lifestyle diseases. The challenge which was launched last year is open to the public participation. The organizers target to take the challenge to more counties in Kenya before the August 9th elections.